Assholes, it's Piper. How are you guys? Better than me, I hope. So, a uh, little known fact about me, I'm a huge fan of Amelia Fart. I fucking love her. She is amazing. I am convinced she is like a Syrian starseed who reincarnated on Earth to teach us to be free and love ourselves through her example or something. I don't know. She's far too pure to be from this shitty planet. For those of you who don't know, she's a vlogger here on YouTube who produces the most honest content I have ever seen. Like, for those of you who say I'm the most genuine YouTuber, thank you, but you're wrong. It's Amelia. Anyway, Amelia is honest, but there's more. She also talks about pretty much everything, down to the most intimate details of her journey through the human experience. And I almost never do that because I'm too busy putting up walls, you know, walls to keep people out and protect myself. But then there are so many walls around me that I'm not letting anyone through and I'm, uh, I don't want to talk about these emotions and shit. I don't even want to have emotions, let alone whine about them on the internet because when other people talk about their problems, I'm like, oh, I see this as valid venting that is necessary for the human condition. But when I do it, I'm like, I can't believe I'm whining about this as if anyone should care. And besides, somebody died in my dining room less than a month ago. So compared to that, my problems, my problems just sound stupid. So, when I have problems, instead of talking about them, I isolate myself and that makes it hard to keep in touch with friends or, for that matter, to make videos. Guys, let's start with this. When I said that every day at 6pm I sit outside alone and brood, you probably thought it was a joke. Well, it's actually a real part of my daily autism routine. I mean... Technically, I don't do it on Tuesdays or Thursdays because I go to Tai Chi and Kung Fu on those days, so I don't have time to brood, but you get what I mean. Or, well, I brood there too, silently, while doing the forms. There I go again, being technical as usual, but you get the picture. I brood about everything from politics to how misunderstood I am. Everyone thinks I'm so cool on the internet. Well, okay, not everyone, but a lot of people. But actually, I am a brooding loser who has a designated brooding time where I do nothing but brood. Well, okay, sometimes I pace, but mostly I just brood because after a long day of working and brooding, I need some time to just brood out my excessive trans mangst. Like, what I always imagined Jay Gatsby did at his parties. Or Jon Snow, who should have stayed in that cave. Or Sweeney Todd, who I named my persona after only to ditch it when I realized I was too busy brooding to have a persona. Or my lead antagonist, Elijah Walker, for that matter, who inherited his brooding from me. Just look at his Twitter. My excuse is that my therapist, before we parted, because he was a trainee at a university and he was graduating and I was too broke to afford more therapy. I got really lost in this sentence. Anyway, he told me to remember to go outside every day because staying inside 24-7 could really fuck me up. I'm paraphrasing, not his exact words. Also, I have a vitamin D deficiency. But go outside at peak hours? Huh, <laughs> never. Not only am I a ginger, but you're lucky if I'm up before 3 p.m. The sun, sometimes 4. The sun's rays are evil. So I go out at around 6 p.m. when the sun isn't burning so brightly. Well, anyway, during my brooding session that just so happened to fall on Maybon, a thought occurred to me. I hate my art. I actually hate it. I know you're supposed to show confidence in your work if you expect people to buy it, or even show any confidence in you whatsoever. But the truth is, I hate it. Or, at the very least, I hate my art style, the way I draw. I always close my lines, use flood fill, make sure every line is precise, down to a science. Well, not so much down to a science, because, let's just face it, I have really shaky hands, but I try. And, to a point, that's probably because one of my primary influences on my art growing up was manga and anime. Mostly anime, let's just be honest. Um, mostly, I'd say it's... Because up until like a month ago, I didn't have a drawing tablet, so I had to adapt my style to mouse usage. 
you know, up until very recently, everything on this channel was drawn with a mouse. And, you know, now I'm afraid that I've been using this style for so long that what if I change it up and no one recognizes my art, or worse, no one likes the new style at all. And but I want to switch to something else. I want to do something more painterly, something I can feel free when I'm doing it, instead of so tense about little mistakes. You don't know, but the thing is, I already finished three illustrations for Cry for the Devil. Yes, only three. Shut up. I'm having computer problems. I got kicked out for being queer at the most inconvenient time ever, and I'm working on six at a time right now. And it's too late to start over in a new style. But my god, am I fucking sick of it. I think my style is so boring. It's like Full Metal Alchemist and King of the Hill had an ugly baby and made an exact replica on The Sims 3. But even if I did start over, I wouldn't know how to fix it. I wouldn't know what brushes to use. I don't even know what I'd change about the way I draw. Do I want to make my art more stylized and cartoony, sacrificing the realistic proportions of my characters' faces to make a more fun style? Would that kind of style even appeal to my target audience, which is primarily millennials? Should I continue to use cell shading? Should I just give up and burn it all? Hell, no wonder I'm working on six at a time. I work on one for like an hour, I feel like I can't bear to look at it for another fucking second, and then I rotate to the next one, and then I stare blankly at the next one because I'm really bad at task switching. It's an ADHD thing. I hyper-focus on certain tasks, drawing in this case, and I feel like I have to quit because I'm too miserable, and I often end up just sitting there doing nothing and stressing out because my mind is still focusing on the task that I'm now working on, the one that I temporarily abandoned. I have paintings that I drew in 2011, that's almost 10 years ago, that are better than the things I'm working on right now. That is not a good sign. I mean, for the most part, I've improved my anatomy and such, but my drawings don't feel free anymore because I don't feel free. I feel confined to stick to a certain way of drawing, to portray my work with a certain accuracy that goes beyond just anatomy and keeping my characters on model. My work has become boring. I don't think I've painted anything interesting or even remotely conceptual since my Mrs. Potato Head illustration and that was what, a year ago? So anyway, the reason I'm drawing Amelia Farr is to take a break. A much needed break to explore what I can and cannot do with this stylus and medibang and on my shitty ebay screen tablet where the cursor is offset from the pen pit by several millimeters which is a bigger problem than it sounds like it should be. In the future, other than for my novel of course, I want to continue to explore to try new things in art because I've felt like this for a really long time, like I'm stuck in a style rut. Like, I'm not creating art for art's sake. I'm just a printer trying to convey the image that's in my brain and not even doing a good job of that. But does that make sense? No? Well, I like the idea behind my style. I want people to know what my characters would look like if they were living people. So I keep my proportions truer to life than the anime art that inspired me growing up. It's the execution I can't stand. So I hope to come out with something that still accomplishes that goal of stylized realism, but without being so technical and vanilla. This drawing didn't end up being quite what I was looking for, but it was still a unbreak, you know. I enjoyed it from start to finish with minimal Lord Byron energy. This sketch, which took me an hour and 20 minutes, is probably one of the best things I've produced all year. You know, I actually forgot that I could have fun drawing until I drew this screenshot that I took just because I liked the way her eyes looked at this angle. <laughs> Thank you for inspiring me, Miss Fart. I hope you like this if you see it, and I hope to make better art and videos. So please rate and subscribe and blessed be, motherfuckers. And maybe check out my store because my cats are spoiled little brats and they need premium cat litter and I am food or they're not happy. <laughs> See ya.